Okay, then. So we're we are we're back in the hot seat, Dave. Um, th- we are already in December, as you know, before we started recording, which is yeah. weird to say the least. So we're actually like you know, um, almost halfway through the season. Crazy. It's time for it's time for Christmas. <laughs> sleigh bells ring, <laughs> sleigh bells ringling, and reindeers are fucking. Or, and I don't know what happens at Christmas. I'll be honest with you. Um, no. e- 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 I, I got, I, I, I was a bit off anyway. So, um, a bit of housekeeping here, I should say, and um, that the, you might have noticed that the video cut off quite suddenly um, in the last uh, session. That's because <laughs> um, this motherfucker right here, this PC, had a calamity, um, a, fa- a, a failure on three counts. So and this uh, this side of the this side of the show decided not to record because you got stage fright, Dave, and that's yeah, fine. No, that's no, it was it was just you know, oh yeah, Jonathan, I brought up the game bar. Uh, oh yeah, I brought up the game bar. Yeah, I'm good to go. Yeah, you took a screenshot, Dave. Well done. <laughs> It'll be living there. Like so there you go. You, there you so go. If, <laughs> if you're wondering, so if you're wondering why in the last two sessions were like you know Dave has been doing commentary on on his uh, on his match, and all you're seeing is me just looking up Shamrock Rovers as player in the background. That's what's happening. Yeah, that's exactly you know we're not we're, we're not putting the matches under a paywall like the Premier League. That's not that's not what we do nope. here. You know that's not uh, yet. Not, not yet, yet. Anyway, yeah, exactly. Yeah. If the booze are sticker prices up somehow, Dave. Let's be fair, but um, no, I don't. But in any case, so like where we left it last, you did like the the match uh, certainly on my side anyway, because I think uh, we ended on my match because you started you kicked off before me. Was a Trina lost to QPR, uh, which uh, was exactly how it ended. Um, despite it ending, I said it, let's just pretend it ended at seventy four minutes. Let's just pretend it did, okay? Um, because let's be fair, I wasn't getting into the match in one way or another. So uh yeah, so this is where we leave it then. So as uh, as things stand, we are um not quite at the halfway mark of the season, it has to be said. But we're getting close to oh, it. No, um, I'm looking I'm looking at, you know, keeping an eye on my financials, but I'm hundred and sixteen grand down this month, which is not good. Mm-hmm. Um uh, I really have to start looking at my players' bonuses in their contract because it's like so far, I've paid out seventy five grand in player bonuses, mm. and that's like I'd say a third of the wages that's that are going out like yeah every month. So yeah, I'm gonna have to yeah I'm gonna have to start looking at that because yeah I'm not yeah. gonna be able to sustain that on the current. I mean, twelve million in the bank, but mm. I kind of don't want to touch that because without that, then we're in debt, and it's like oh. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Now, fairness, like mine is isn't looking too bad either way. Like we're still like well within FFP, and we're we're not. Yeah, like, we we've got seven and a half million pounds in transfer debt. So yeah. club director loans, uh, another three point one million pound loan. Um, yeah, we need more money in, and that's we need to finish top six this season yeah, to at least exactly. get at least get this chip away at this bloody loan though, you know, these director loans and transfer mm. debt that we've got. But it's not much. I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain about a seven million pound transfer loan. It's not impossible mm. to turn over, but that's where we are at the minute. Yeah. Like in fairness now, I think uh what I will say is that like we're not um we're not too we're not massively stuck ourselves now it has to be said. Like we're doing okay. No, no we're doing, um, we're doing okay. Yeah, so it's not it's not too bad. What I would say though is that, like, as is often the case, like, yeah, like we have a lot of we have some good sellable assets, and that's why I'm kind of like giving the young lads a lot of game time. But like, I'm also yeah. looking at like outside of the really weird bids I see keep coming in from Swansea City of all people. I am expecting some people to start looking for our players, so um, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, um, that's the how scary is your part, how is your Christmas look? How is your December looking? Because like, um, this always kind of intrigues me about because Christmas is always the killer. Um, um, we should be playing through the World Cup, and um, and then obviously I have my little distraction with Everton in the Carabao Cup. So what's yeah, your so what's you, your month looking like? Okay, so uh, we drew against Reading on the twelfth of November. Um, mm. so I have a two week break. It looks like a three week break before we play Sunderland on the third of December. Okay, on um, that weekend I am playing Sheffield at home. Right, you've got Everton in the cup. The week before that, so there's a cup break in between. Is that right? Uh, no, I'm actually yeah. So because this because of the World Cup um happening, um, I'm playing them on the twentieth. 
of the month. Right, okay. So they're like that's like we're our we're their first game back essentially, like it was uh, in real life. So four bounces. Okay, well I I've got one, two, three, four, five, six games in December. Grand, I've got which seven. Isn't bad, which yeah. isn't bad. You know, it's not it's not bad to manage. Hmm. But the problem is I've got four away and two at home. So which is interesting because I've got five at home and two away. And hilarious enough, uh, in that in the month, I'm playing Blackpool twice. So I've got Sheffield Blackpool <laughs> at home. Then Cardiff away, which is on TV, which I'm shocked by. Um, yeah, I've got two TV games, both against yeah. Bristol City in December. Motherfucker. Um, Luton at home, Everton at home, Blackpool away then, and then Rotherham at home. So I'll try, hopefully try and get revenge on Danny Drinkwater and his mates. So we'll see. Well, I've got Sunderland, Bristol City, Norwich, Blackburn, Bristol City again in QPR. That's a tough enough run, you know. That's you're, a tough you're, run. Yeah, you're, you're, you see, I, I'm quite happy with my December because I'm playing, with exception to Rotherham, um, everyone might in that month I am I am currently ahead of in the league. So I'm ahead of Sheffield, well ahead of Blackpool. Yeah, you, you've got an easy so, run in. Me, on the other hand, not so much. Yeah, um, Cardiff is a little one I'm, I'm kind of competing with directly. So, yeah. Not, not, no, I'm not facing any of the top three. We've got, we've got the tour. We've got the FA Cup third round, um, mm. on the seventh of January, oh, not too fun. far after the December break, and then, yeah, it's just kind of league run in. Then, mm. my run in for February isn't too bad. Um, January isn't bad at all either. Sheffield United, Watford, you and Hull. Hmm. Okay. So I mean it's not too bad. It's not, it's gonna be tricky. Okay, yeah. one way or another tricky. it's gonna be tricky, exactly. So yeah, anyway, I'm gonna continue on here. Onwards and upwards, get, yeah. Onwards. So what's happening in the world today? So we have a spectacle of turf war. What happened to turf war? A 3 0 win for Burnley. That's great. That's not a spectacle. That's, of turf that's, war. that's expected. <laughs> that's not a spectacle. That's spectacle, it's not. It's ex- exactly it's not a spectacle. Yeah. It's expected. It's big I, I, I have there you go. Cracker, cracker at the Cardiff City Stadium, two two between West Brom and Cardiff. Okay, all right, that's that's uh, I can live with that. That's all the games played now. That's nineteen games played in the league by all teams. Yeah. So yeah, now that's so, all the so, nineteen games. So essentially, all we have to do now is uh, look yeah. forward to the exciting World Cup on the way. Oh, we wow. Oh god. Yeah. Oh yeah. I can't wait for the next football manager when that's just not there. Yeah. Like in, in in fairness, at least we don't have much to, shit to worry about. So you know, it's, uh, it is what it is, I guess. I don't know why I'm getting the recent transfer activity of a Chinese team called Gimshion Sangmu FC. That's literally under my recent transfer activity <laughs> on this thing. I'm Are not you, uh... there's, there's three players there. Like, oh, they've all moved on a free. I'm like, I, I don't care. This is a have... random Chinese team just popped up on my transfer activity. Have you got like a feeder club that you're not haven't uh, declared yet? Have, have we just exposed you for uh for our, for third party ownerships? Is this what's happened, Dave? No idea. Mm. This is weird. Mm. I'm not weird. sure about you. <laughs> well, let's check the affiliates. Let's check the affiliates. No, I have Newport County and Yeovil Town. That's all I have. Okay, they're my only affiliate clubs. I actually don't know if I have any affiliate clubs. I don't think I do. Yeah, uh, every, oh, everyone, no, does. everyone does. Everyone does. No, I actually do not have any affiliate clubs. You need to improve the reputation of Millwall further and get yourself an affiliate club. Yeah. Get yourself like a League Two or a... Okay. Do you know what? I've actually asked the chairman for one and he's going to have a look. So, awesome. Good good talk, John. Oh, no. Patrick Vieira yeah. is very unhappy with Adaramola's loan agreement. Okay. Uh, all the Premier League managers are out now. They're just like, why aren't you playing? Oh, it's Fuck because off. I'm not playing him at a wing back. But you are still playing him yeah, full playing stop, him. right? There's yeah. a star. <laughs> God, these people. These people. Right. That's right, Vieira. Bend over. <laughs> See you later, pal. That's what you call that it was it, did you did you power play him? Is that what happened there? Damn right I did. I said he's he's playing he's playing enough. <laughs> he's playing. I'm not going to risk the balance. Oh, this is my exact answer. I'm not going to risk the balance of the team for one player. He's like, I understand the position. He's like, Damn right you do. Wait. Hmm. And Patrick Fierre giving me shit. I mean, I'll take that's... his job. <laughs> you can't just get job. that's if you do that, that. That's cheating. You can't just get the championship that way. That's Aww, cheating. That is. It's not cheating. It's um. It's a loophole, absolutely. It's... But 
it is a loophole. It's a loophole. It's right? both of us uh, chasing the fucking Norwich gig when uh, when Dean <laughs> Smith gets promoted. It's like, no, you can fuck off. It's, Arteta is unhappy with Kai and Edwards' loan agreement. <laughs> He's not a striker. Don't you know your own players, mate? Oh dear! Look, you got you got um you got a lot of stuff to work with there, Dave. You need to you need to work it out. To be honest, right? To be fair, he's not wrong. I could do with someone a bit more quicker through the middle. Mm. Oh look, monthly staff meeting. Let's attend. You should you should talk to your people and tell them how you're just oh you're just so livid. So so livid. <laughs> Just like, come on, lads, we're sixth. Sixth. <laughs> we can do better than sixth. Uh, oh, they want me to put Ryan Manning on the transfer list. I'm not. Uh, yeah, I might as well because. Yeah, they're right though, because he's just running down his contract. If I can get a bit of money for him now, I might as well. I might as well get money for him now. I can't, can't just keep holding on to him. Mm. Mm. Let's see. Just thinking, well, I mean, I've got like by the time the January transfer window hits, I should have half a million, which means I should be able to bring in some mm. one or two loans. Maybe I'm not looking for permanent transfers, I can't really get much with yeah. half a million. I can maybe get something in Scotland, but it's not. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Sorry, I'm just uh, while you were chatting there, I'm kind of uh, I'm having a look and seeing can I sign some new coaches. Good choice. Yeah, and I have two interesting names that have popped up on my uh, <laughs> on my. Is one of them Dennis Bergkamp? It's or not Dennis Bergkamp. No, it is it, not. It's funny. It is not I'm Dennis full. I, I don't. I don't have room for any coaches, unfortunately. Yeah, you see, I do. So that's why I'm kind of. Uh, I'm mindful of seeing who I can can and can't get in. Oh, I'd love to take on Akin Fenwa. <laughs> oh, God. Just a complete shit house. Just like, you need to look like this all the time. <laughs> okay. Who could, who could I get for the first team, actually? Okay, I'm after, putting, I'm after offering jobs to three coaches. Let's see what happens. Nice. Kenny Jackett's there. Mm-hmm. Who else is there? Scott Davies is there. There's a few there's a few half decent coaches there to be fair. Yeah. Uh, these are people now who are actively like, you know, available as a work to uh to work. So, you know. So we'll see. I, I won't always... I, I won't reveal my hand until I actually have them <laughs> to be fair. No, but to be fair, like I always thought like I always found myself leaning towards Nicky Barnby every time I got like he came up as a coach because he's actually pretty decent. Well, I can tell you that um, I've had talks for the door again asking about if Luxembourg has gone to Swansea. And the answer is a giant. I can't big control fucking... my scouts. I can't control what my scouts do. If they can... do that, they do that. So it's it's not it's nothing to do with me. Well, it's a good thing too, because Luxembourg just pulled up in training. So that's great. That's 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 super. <laughs> that's that's, he that's great. Training. Yeah. He's done a he's done a it's... what I would call a a Trent injury. He's out for <laughs> two weeks. Just just two weeks. Plenty of time. That's all. <laughs> This is what you get for fucking poking the bear, man. All right, you have him stressed <laughs> out. You have him nervous, anxious, and worried. Oh my god, he's pulled up with an injury. That's fantastic. <laughs> that is hilarious, actually. The fact that I've gone in for I've started transfer rumors now. He's pulled up injured. Yeah, I don't have gonna... I don't have secret talks with him at all. At all, he's got he's gonna have a conspicuous back injury that's going to uh, keep him out for the next while. <laughs> I remember now when does the actual World Cup start in game? I can't remember. I've kept away from it, I've no idea. 
Um, that's a real mystery. Oh, where am I? I just realised how silly of me. Where are my manners? There we go. I wasn't ripping the brand. Oh, that's more like it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. No, you're not putting them on fucking trial. Go away. Good God, you're you're like a fucking sick puppy. <laughs> Go with get the fuck, man. Honestly. <laughs> just on un, just unsettling him on un, completely <laughs> unnecessarily. Like the boy has suffered enough as it is, you know? You need to get him in the door, man. Eleven goals in twelve games, they need to get him in the door. You can fuck off, pal. <laughs> okay. Let's see how we get on. I'm also realized that Millwall never had a sports scientist, which is fair. If we're going to continue with this, um, with this uh, gentrification, then we need science. You know, we're going to we're going to move on to the environment next. <laughs> Greenest club in London? Nope, that's Forest Green. <laughs> Clues yeah. literally in the title, Dave. I mean, we're not we're not at the point where we're going to turn everyone vegan, so you know we wouldn't do that to our we wouldn't do that to our people. Oh, great! Yeah, you, you Liam Cullen, you just go out for three weeks. That's no problem, mate. You go and get an injury. Hmm. Oh well, I'm in the market for a striker anyway. Wow, another. Uh... Not a great performance by one of my favorite names ever, Ernie Cheeseman. <laughs> Go on, my son. <laughs> it's such a good name. It's a cracking name, honestly. Okay. Yeah, got Morgan Whitaker on a new four year contract. Get in there, lad. Hey. It's him tied down. What do you give them? Right, okay. Just ban me players for two more matches. Just if you feel like it, you know. <laughs> Mac Rhymes injured. Fantastic. Out for two weeks. Just keep piling on the tables, lads. Just keep That's piling it. on the tables. Smile and wave, boys. Just smile and wave. Four players on the four first team players on the uh, the injury table now. Ooh, okay. This is actually a, probably the worst injury we've had so far. Joe Hodge is out for uh, six weeks because he's That's done his cartilage. Bad. Six weeks with his cartilage. That's not bad. It That's isn't. the worst you've had. It is. Well, to be fair, we've we've we have been lucky. To be fair, um, ha. Yes. Okay. So you remember I was talking about uh, coaches joining Millwall. Yes. So yes. first one is a fellow called Ryan Gary, who okay. I am hoping is going to be my new defensive coach if I have any say in what he does. But two Premier League stars are joining the Millwall backup, uh, uh, Dave. One good and one bad. Um, I've got Lee Catamol joining okay. us. Right. Um, I presume he still has his um shirt tucked in whenever he do whatever he does anything as of far course, as I know. Of course. Yeah. And hopefully in the door in a few days' time, Sammy Hippia. Nice. Sammy Hup- Hippia Very is gonna good. be hopefully joining us. Which uh I'm surprised he's actually uh only down as a coach here because like again, he has yeah, I mean, be famous, he is, has managed Bayer Leverkusen and Brighton in the past. So I'm not exactly sure what he's uh why exactly he's uh, down for this, but obviously he's a uh, better fit as a coach, so. Not bad. Not yeah. bad at all. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, My staff is full, so. Hey, so Roman Essay is only a 9.05 in training so far, so he's slacking. He's slacking, boy. 
although in fairness, it's actually been quite a good. Uh, we've uh, we've kind of kept it steady for this week because, uh, let's be fair, it is a. Uh, it's like two weeks until the next uh, fucking uh, uh, competition, so it's only fair. Hmm. Ooh, Hoopia moved delay due to warp permit. Ah, he'll get a warp permit. He should do. Yeah, that's the saying. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be it'd take a little while to get in the door, but no harm. Anyway, we're still expecting to come in. That's two more players injured. Ooh, who have you got? Uh, Obafemi. Oh, no. Injured. That's now six players injured in the last week. That's desperate. That is desperate. Fantastic. Okay, right. Hey, okay, the World Cup has started on the lads. Boo! Boo earns. Exactly. And it started off as it did with a 4 0 win against Qatar. <laughs> oh, great. You'd love to see it. Who do you think? Uh, I I get the feeling that like just going by the way football manager works in this, that England's probably going to win the World Cup in this. You know, kind of way they always seem to like. Uh, they don't seem to factor in the fact that England are butlers. You know. Yeah. True. True. You know. Although, in fairness, I've had football manager say we're just some crazy team team wins World Cup, so you know, could be anything. <laughs> good point. Very good point. Like, like I've had various different saves where I've had the US win the World Cup. Which I think if that ever happened, they will never shut the fuck up about. It. They'd be worse than England no, about it. My my um my current save, my main save of football manager, which is into twenty thirty three. Mm hmm. Um, Hibs just won the Conference League, so anything's possible. Do you know what? exactly? I mean, you 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 want to you need to dream big, Dave. You know, you need to dream big. Okay. Um. Uh... Staff meeting. Let's have a look. Susan in attendance. All right. Well, everyone's here. Including our no boys. That's great. All right. So, <laughs> Adam Barrett believes that Murray Wallace should be taking throw ins as he has no talent for them. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> uh, okay. Scott Malone. I think we had this conversation before. Yeah, let's fuck it. Let's just get, let's get someone else in. Um, okay. So, we have. Few suggestions for second zone players out. So yes, and move on. And who's progressing? Tom Bradshaw is not. Savile isn't, and then he is. Great. Okay, that's fine. Very good back from the squad right now. I'm not really happy with my assistant manager. What's he saying to you? I'm just not happy with him. It's not um I don't think he's high enough for me. I don't think he's good enough for what I want. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, well, um, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with my assistant manager anyway. I might do a little reshuffle at some stage, but he's actually been he's been okay. However, I, I know I have now, uh, after bringing in Lee Cadamol and uh, Ryan Gary in particular, I now supposedly have the best defensive and mental coaches in the championship. So that's a little feather in the cap now, isn't it? Not bad. You now, again, I presume these lads got kind of work it out amongst themselves what they actually do as opposed to expecting me to say anything, but however. Now, where's that? Oh, I, sh I actually neglected to check how the Premier League was doing after the before the break. So, um, this is definitely unrealistic because Liverpool are top by seven points. Um, it's unrealistic mainly because Man City have actually lost games. 
Um, I can't because I can't imagine Pep would have liked would like that. Uh, let's see, United were eight, and they were struggling for a while. United now they seem to have come up a bit. Um, Leeds are on a massive losing streak. Um, and well, so we've got Spurs mid table. Uh, Brighton are in the relegation zone. So are Fulham and, F- and Forest look like they're absolutely fucking doomed. So I know Dave, if you fancy getting the Forest job, there you go. There's a baptism of fire for you. What's that? Yeah. So, well, I've terminated the contract with my assistant manager. Dave, surely not. There you go. I have wow. terminated Matt Gill's contract. Oh my goodness, you are I'm now an... on the look. You are absolutely oh. mental. I am, aren't I? Absolutely fucking crazy. Like taking a bold could... move. I've taken a bold move, but I need someone. I need someone better. It's just too soft. It's a fucking bold, it's a bold move, brave move, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. <laughs> Let's see. How's everyone else? So England beat Wales in the World Cup. Ecuador beat uh, beaten by Holland, to be expected. America have triumphed over Iran, which is uh, a fitting metaphor for how they think they do in all world crises. I wonder if they still pretend that Christian Pulisic is uh, on par with Lionel Messi. Why did I have two assistant managers? Why did you have that, Dave? It, may, like, it feels like you're just kind of spoiling yourself, really. Yeah. What was the point in that? Mm. See, I, 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 I kept the uh, the outfit I had since when I joined up, like, so I didn't actually get any of my own people. So, I mean... To be fair, if the closest two of my people are Lee Catamol and Sammy Hippia, well then, I, I guess that counts. Yeah. Let's see how we get on. Okay. Ah, Robbie. Robbie, Robbie, uh, Robbie Fowler decided to stay at Oxford. Oh dear. And there goes my striking coach. There goes that dream. Oh, sure. No, no, I've got plenty more. Plenty more. There's such fan... someone... such fanboys going for players that going for coaches that we've heard <laughs> of. It's like, oh, oh Robbie Fowler, please notice me. Oh, I know. Yeah. Meanwhile in the World Cup. Where have we got? So yeah, Stoke, Stoke have brought back Matthew Etherington. As mm, a manager. As a manager, yeah. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. Now, that is a brave move, considering he's quite inexperienced. But, you know, if he's got the attributes, it's worth a shot. Where was he beforehand? Was he anywhere? I don't think. Hmm, okay. Well, we'll see how that goes. Denmark and uh, France off the mark with big wins in their groups, and Argentina held to a draw against Poland, which is a surprise. Right. I'll place an advert anyway. Hmm. Still a wild go before I face Sunderland anyway, so. Yeah, we're no rush either, to be fair. There's a whole World Cup to play through, for God's sake, you know? It's just... Exactly. Ernie Cheeseman at it again. That's two man of the match performances now for Cheeseman. <laughs> Cheese is strong with this one. Oh, God. I know. Terrible. Cheesy, cheesy. Keep it. As they say in the under-18s, it ain't easy being cheesy. It ain't cheesy, exactly. It ain't be, easy being, being cheesy. cheesy. Germany beating uh, Spain 3-1 and Japan beating Costa Rica. Good for them. Oh, yeah, this, they have this weird thing where the German and the uh, Japanese teams are... They're not the actual players, sure they aren't. Yeah, yeah I, I think I have weird. mine fixed, but yours might I don't know. I'm not yeah, sure. no, the German the German team is fine. Japanese team, no. They're uh they're all fictional players. All regens. Yeah. 
Hmm, it's a pity now. But like the scene, the like Minamino and friends uh wrecking shit up here. That's it. Coventry have got their new manager as well. Peter Stoger is in. Who was at a uh, FK Frank? Oh, he's at Ferran Cavros. So French Varro, yeah, he's there. Yeah. Oh, another Minamino injury. Was in the game, mind you. Minamino is in the game. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, they just can't. Uh, they just don't play for the national team. Um, Scott Malone is out for two months. Um, sprained ligament in his knee. Again, I suppose it could be worse. And, you know, as to, as times go to have an injury, this isn't the worst. But still, it's not great. Especially considering that, like, he'll be missing all of December. So, you know, I'd rather he didn't do that, to be honest. And I see that you're uh, you're in the transfer market, Dave. You're picking uh, one indeed. of your boys, yeah. I'm indeed. Mm. Brazil beating Serbia 2-1. Portugal 3, Uruguay 1. Good games there. Ghana smashing South Korea 4-0. Jesus. It'll be interesting to see if we actually do end up with the same final as uh, as what we got. But... Well, Ralph Hassenhudel is managing Celtic. Yeah, you, I think you uh, sure Angie got Ange got the uh, Leeds job, didn't he, in this game? <laughs> yeah. Which just which just feels natural, doesn't it? It's just like just feels right. It's weird seeing him like seeing my Spurs at the moment in real life, considering it's like I know. Ah, fuck, you're really likable. Why did you have to pick Spurs? What you could have been anyone else, you know? Could have literally been anyone else. I'm looking at players that I should be able to afford. I'm looking at players that suggested to me that I'm like, I should be able to afford these guys. Mm. But I can't. Like, six million shouldn't be out of the realm of possibility. Like, Depends if it's there to be spent, eh? That's the, that's the question. I know. I know. You know? No, I can only afford 61% or 60% of his wages. But take that for a loan deal. Mm. Oh, I'm not getting Ryan Brewster. Bruce is an odd one, like um, a lot of potential, but he just never, he's never looking to fulfill it. Yeah. I wanted to get him on loan, but the problem is that he's like 60 odd grand in wages. And I just can't afford that. Hmm. Just can't afford that at the moment. Say so. It seems like Shrewsby are interested in signing Abdul Abdul Malik. Who uh, I believe is oh, he's in a youth system at the moment, but he's on loan at Shrewsbury. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm going to respond to this and go. Let's see. Mm, he's not for sale. Absolutely not. Do you foresee a relationship with Gary Monk, who is the Shrewsbury manager? Is it, is it, is it, is it? I don't know. Uh, I don't know to be honest. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, we go. Yeah. So just saying you can have them on loan, but you ain't keeping them. Still, uh rumors of a takeover are apparently completely non complete nonsense, according to the people in the know. Just good to hit that in the bud. Looks like so where are we got <clears throat> England are true to the next round anyway. They beat USA two one. So fair enough. To be expected, I suppose. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. Oh, we're back in a week. Here yeah. we go. Our little uh, summer or summer vacation's over. I'm a first signing of the window before it's even open. <laughs> you got Nisbet, did you? Business done early. I got Nisbet, yeah. Well done. Here well we done, go. Well 150 grand. That's not bad. Yeah, I mean, like, I certainly have an opening at left back. Um, because it looks like we're trying to shift out Sucks Cop alone, maybe because of his age or and because of his wages, I don't know. But mm. like I'm also inclined to kind of keep as is because you know, we experience can be one thing, and just having a squad player, you know, is one thing as well. But then again, like he, yeah. he comes out with good good performances, so I kind of feel guilty. Putting them up for sale anyway, you know. Yeah, and no, I'll get you. So, 
I don't know if it'll actually it'll actually come to that or not, but he's there anyway. Hey. My player is uh, starting their coaching career. Good lads. Because <laughs> uh you ain't starting for the for the team, so you might as well do something. I know it hurts to say it, it hurts to hear it from me, but it it's true. <laughs> it's just true. Okay. Spain beats Japan 4 2. Belgium beating Canada. Croatia beating Morocco. It all seems quite standard so far, really. It's going to be um, of uh, no shocks, really, as such. Oh, this is uh I mean I've missed out a couple of these things. Do you know that there's been sackings in the Premier League, Dave? <laughs> did you know I'm that going, I'm going to the news, right? Um did you know that Antonio Conte has been sacked at Spurs and he has been replaced by Luis Enrique? And David Moyes is out of a job at West Ham, and Rafa Benitez is uh taking over from him. <laughs> there you go, huh? How about wow. them apples? Kept that quiet over the over the World Cup, didn't they? Just one normal day of the Premier League. That's all I ask. It will never happen. No. Oi, oi, oi. You're now nearly uh Oh, for fuck's sake, another injury. God damn it. All right, McNamara is now out for oh. six, seven weeks. Just for knee ligaments. Everyone's knees are just decided to pop all of a sudden. Like, holy yeah. fuck. But that's like, th- I'm really sure that's three of my left, but three of my fullbacks all gone now for for the restart. This is not what I wanted at all. No. Nope. Like, it's very inconsiderate of them, I'll be honest. I'm going to have a shit team to fix one and put it that way. Mm. Ah, oh, cracking. It's time for the third round draw, baby. Okay. Let's fucking do this. All right, let's 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 view the draw. Okay, here we go. Start. Okay. Match one. What have we got? Cambridge. Oh. Cambridge, Birmingham. Hmm. Bristol Rovers. Leeds. <laughs> Do you know who's the assistant manager? Um, Leeds, but looks of it. Or is it Bristol Rovers? Is it Joey Barton in charge of Bristol Rovers? Joey Barton's in charge of Bristol Rovers, yeah. Blackburn Grimsby. Okay. okay we've got, how have we got here? Palace and... Right. And this thing isn't see, doesn't seem to be showing Lincoln any... City. No, it's okay. it's okay. because it's an online save. It's been ah, a bit ah ah yes yeah, yes dicky. okay right. So we've got Cambridge Wolves, Everton, Birmingham, Bristol, Leeds. Oh, Blackburn, go to Brindley. the overview. Go to the yeah. overview. Yeah, yeah, you got it. I have it now. Yeah, Lincoln, Brentford. It's a good game for them. It's all right, Liverpool and Rotherham. This is what I'm seeing here. Uh. Okay, Man United uh-huh. the first next out of the hat here. Yeah, Mansfield or Walsall. <laughs> Watford now. Heyday. Ooh. Watford Cardiff. That's all championship. I like that. West Ham Peterborough. Ooh, okay. Can live with that. Coventry. QPR. Okay, right, right, right. right. Oldham. Okay, so they're uh, conference sides. I'd like to draw them now, I'll be honest. Bristol City is what they got. Okay. We've got Derby West Derby, Brom. Derby West Brom. Newcastle, yeah. Southend, Scunthorpe. I would have taken them. Yeah, fuckers. Give me Salford. 
Oh, you oh, <laughs> you pulled out of the hat for me. It's fair play to you. You uh, <laughs> this is gonna be guaranteed me. League Two team. Excellent. And I'll take that hand over Jesus fist. Jesus Christ. Okay, so Villa Huddersfield, Forest Crawley. Had that been away now? Oh, Leicester Man City. Nice. That's tasty. A lot of championship ties in this, isn't there? Um yeah. Sheffield, so Sheffield Wigan. Spurs Preston, Stoke Reading. You're you're still haven't been out, out of the hat yet, Dave. No. No. And there's still some big teams left in it. Oh, Norwich, right. Newport, Doncaster, Chelsea. So you avoided Chelsea anyway. Avoided Arsenal. Yeah. Okay. So so here we go. Here we go. Okay. Mm. All right. I try just tried to pull. That's not points, bad. But... That's not bad. Okay. So Blackpool. Blackpool. All right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. Bournemouth Eastley. That's a that's a good tie for Eastley. You know. Bit of a payday for them. Paul Luton, yeah. Wellstone and Sutton against Fulham. Oh, now that's a BT sport. Ah, this, match, is isn't it? this is yeah. ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Why is it? <laughs> Altrincham. Come on, man. Give me something good. Ah, uh, here. Southampton. Dagenham yeah. and Redbridge were still in there. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm happy out by. Uh, fucking, oh, I'm not, uh, I'm not surprised you're happy. Well, why, why wouldn't I be happy? Come on, man! I got a championship team. Yeah, but I mean, you, know, you, got, you got you got League Two, didn't you? Or channel or fucking? Well, I see Rochdale are League Two, yeah, and Salford are League Two, so I'm guaranteed either to uh, to face Gary Neville's fucking pet project or Rochdale. So you've been paying people off, man. I have fucking no. I don't have any money to pay people <laughs> off. And you go away. I can barely fucking. Pay money to get Lee Catter at Mall through fucking college, let alone pay out for a fucking cup draw. <laughs> In hell, and you trolling your fucking notions <laughs> around the place. Oh, group stage draw with chant are they? Oh my god, England France drawn together for the Euros qualifying qualifying group. Fucking ouch! Hang on, what did Ireland get? Hang on, right, we got. Spain and Hungary in the same group. Fair enough. Holland and Northern Ireland, I guess. Top seeds in Group B. That seems like an easy group, really. Yeah. Um, we, we got Faroe Islands, Belarus, San Marino, Scotland, Switzerland. Group H. Oh, fucking hell. We should get out of that group, no problem. Oh, yeah. That's what we said about the group recording. Yeah, that's true. Well, no, we're not. Definitely, we're definitely not getting out of that fucking group. Not a chance. <laughs> <laughs> France and Netherlands and Greece. We can barely be fucking Greece. Um, but yeah, that that seems doable. It's nice that we're taking a, like a little like change just to see how all the other competitions are doing here. It's nice. I like this. It's like this is how all the uh, the this is this is how all the nice people live, except for us working class in the championship, just trying to make do with what we have, you know. Yep. 